Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, I will tell you about what are the roles there in the market currently. Okay. The roles. So suppose these are the roles. Suppose software engineer. Maybe backend engineer. Front end. Okay. Data engineer. Data science engineer. Or maybe QA. Slash as that. Okay. So this is basically full stack. Okay. There. Okay. So this will in this lead will be also there and everything will be there. But the thing is, these are the general rules. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, so it will be uh, anything like cloud engineer. It is just the general I'm talking about. Okay. Cloud engineer, anything. So these are the basic roles. Okay. Cloud engineer, DevOps. Okay. Or any, and there could be one, one or two more. Okay. So uh, depending on these titles, okay. Your first of all, interview may vary company to company also. But the thing is, in any of the position you will apply currently for any of the product based companies, most of the product, I am talking about 90% of the product based company, your skills, which is primarily focused and first or second interview will be based on that in the DSA only. Okay. No matter in which role you are applying in product based companies, basically I am telling you not for service based company. In purely product based company, that to 80 to 90 percent of the product based company will be having at least 50 percent of the round of DSA. Okay, 50 percent, and maybe if you have a 10 plus year of experience, it could reduce to 30 or 30 percent or 25 percent. But the thing is, 50 percent of the rounds average will be on the DSA. Okay, in this round, there will be other rounds like first of all, DSA is a common. Okay, in every round. Then later I am going on year of experience, how many rounds will be there. But the thing is currently I am going in the roles, what are the rounds will be there. So DSA is common in all. Okay, at least 50% average you can consider that DSA will be there. Okay. So see, uh, it is not like uh, DSA is like uh, helping you to grow in this. It is a DSA. So first of all, uh, it is not like you are uh, you crack the this interview using DSA to, so that in the in the basically in the work you will get some DSA related work. It is not like that. It is DSA just to check your uh, thinking capability, how your mind works. Okay, how how basically fast you come you can come to any solution okay so if you have a good dsa that means you are good in problem solving okay problem solving means it is not like problem solving is just a dsa okay suppose if some, somebody given your the devops work if you can solve some problem solving of dsa it is more likely if you give some time to devops okay then you can come up with the new solution for that okay that i am going uh, sg1 and sg2 okay Sudarshan. And that will be on year of experience. Currently, I'm talking about the roles. Okay. First of all, so DSA is the common. Okay. After that, system design will be there in this. Okay. The manager round will be there in every role. Okay. So that I'm not writing. System design, which will be LLD, HLD. Okay. Same in the front, front end, like in this also will be there. And same in this will be there. Okay. In this also, there is a possibility. Okay. But, okay. Now, coming to the full stack, there will be no additional round DSA system design. But for some specific companies, like if I talk about Goldman Sachs or maybe some financial company, then they can ask, suppose, if the position of Java or position of React plus 
फुल स्टैक देन यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट वन टेक्नोलॉजी राउंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्पेसिक राउंड मतलब टेक स्पेसिक राउंड वेयर दे कैन आस्क द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू जावा रिलेटेड टू रिएक्ट और रिलेटेड टू समथिंग ओके सो दिस इज द प्योरली फुल स्टैक दीज आर द फोर राउंड टू डी एस ए वन सिस्टम डिजाइन और मे बी टू सिस्टम डिजाइन डिपेंड ऑन ईयर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस एंड वन टेक राउंड विच इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एफ every company suppose if i take the example microsoft google amazon so those company do not ask this tech round they generally focus on dsa and system design for software engineers back end engineers and front end engineers okay and uh, for some companies if you are applying for front end engineers then there will be one round depending on the which front end role if you are applying for react then there will be a react round and if you are applying for back end then there will be a suppose java round okay but the thing is these dsa lld hld these are rounds will be the common okay now coming to the data engineer for data engineer there will be one more round in most of the companies this will be true that one round will be based on the data engineer like they will ask some questions related to queries or related to anything related to data engineer okay but the dsa and hld or hld this is also not required but most of the companies nowadays are asking hld or lld in data engineer also but there will be one one round mandatory which is data engineer specific round okay same for data science there will be uh, two rounds or maybe one or one or two rounds based on the data science okay same for qa okay there will be maybe maybe scripting round or maybe testing specific round java script round okay java script okay or some python anything related to qa okay so this will be there same for key cloud engineer there will be one round for specific to cloud engineer and same for devops devops but the point here is dsa is the common because since we are going to start dsa everything in these roles dsa is mandatory okay so as lld and hld means low level design and high level design okay uh, low level design seems like uh, designing some schemas okay designing interfaces what are the interfaces which is there how you basically how your components basically uh, like you will design the components internal working okay and your hld is like high level components uh, where will be your load, load balancer how uh, how many servers will be there okay what type of the database you will choose these are the things will be there in hld okay and uh, so back end engineer is a, a role where dsa and hld is required as lld hld required and some companies will ask uh, java specific round or maybe if it is a c sharp then c sharp it is not like java only it could be anything like which position you are applying okay like if you are applying for python developer maybe the round will be for python developer but not for every company for companies if i talk about top 5 10 and companies then there will be no round tech specific round like google microsoft amazon uber there will be no tech specific round you will get in these companies okay uh, so directly only dsa lld hld and managerial round will be there okay same for full stack same for back end and front end also almost similar only okay so if you have any question in this point uh, uh, then feel free to unmute and talk let me first go the questions so vikram is dsa is just a entry point to product based companies or those companies truly using it as a brick so dsa is the entry point first of all for product based companies uh it is it is not like all companies you you are good in dsa and you know the concept so it will be using in the in their code but it will make you to write the efficient code suppose if you are writing in long way you can learn with the dsa like how to optimize that code to write in shorter way okay so that is the one thing and the second thing it it will improve your thinking capability so that you can come up with the new ideas okay new ideas to write the code okay it is not like always like you are using suppose you have done solving the tree problem okay so it is not like you will you will write the tree code in the uh, production okay it is not very unlikely that you will write okay maybe 5 10% of the chances okay but the thing is 
it will make you like if you are able to solve some bs a good and your mind your thinking capability is good so that's why companies are generally is asking okay because we know like if you are if you are good in c sharp you can learn the java within 15 days or 20 days okay but the thing is your thinking capability does not improving with that it is just that language switching is very easy so if i talk about 10 years back the companies are asking more questions related to taking technology only nobody is asking dsa questions or something okay they are asking purely in this technology rounds only like if it is a java then java rounds but nowadays companies are focusing on uh, dsa more but if you apply for a startup then they can ask the deep tech space around still but is the role for so bipul uh, what is the role position for 10 plus year of experience it is totally depend on the company to company okay uh, generally senior software engineer okay and tech lead okay and some company it could be manager also okay so cloud engineer ds is so see uh, that uh, shekhar uh, what type of the questions shall be asked in product based company it is totally you need to uh, like first of all learn all the topics okay every company have their difficulty level okay so they can ask from any topic okay that's why you are studying all the topics here okay you need to focus on the all the topics so to be precise array is the most important okay means most asked okay array is the most asked then after that tree then programming graphs are there what books do you suggest for dsa and system design if any uh there is no book i will suggest for system design there are couple of things like there is a lx lx who uh there is a book name lx who if you search for in the amazon and kindle you will find this book it is written by this one, this guy okay for system design okay but the thing is uh we will be covering all the things so you do not have to worry to basically learn from anything extra okay so next talk about the uh, uh as you mentioned uh, google microsoft is no tech specific round can 10 plus year of experience guy eligible for sd2 and sd1 so sd2 for google microsoft uh, generally for sd uh, 10 year of experience generally they take sd3 okay seniors sd senior sd or sd depend on your current company and interview how your interview goes they can give you sd2 also but definitely not sd1 so rajwarti there is no particular site for system design okay there are very very less questions for the system design if you are studying just 10 cases 10 user case studies that would be great okay it is uh, so see for there is no particular solution for system design system design is all about discussion okay and trade offs you need to make the trade offs okay somebody is using some more server somebody is using less server it is all depend on the trade off okay it is just that you should aware about the concept of the system design there will be never any perfect solution for system design uh let's go on the year of experience thing see uh rutubij uh can someone with no real experience in hld ld crack system design down yes it is 90% of the time it is it is that only okay even if you are working in microsoft google okay it is not like you will get the system design uh, a specific coding there okay maybe you need not to design the system but if you apply somewhere else okay then they can ask the system design rounds in the interviews okay so at most of the time 90% of the time in your previous company you never worked in the system design okay but still you need to give the system design round and people will crack it because they are studying system design 
very very few people real apply in the system okay so yes okay uh, i think let's first go then we will take other questions and uh, yeah so there could be two uh, uh, first of all i will divide the experience basis okay um, there could be one guy who has a less than maybe they are fresher okay and students okay. then there will be one type of guy who has a less than one year of experience or maybe we can say zero to three years जीवन नियर ओनली क्या इसे से प्रेशर स्लेस पनीर एंड देर विल बी वन वन टू थ्री इयर्स देन थ्री टू फाइव इयर्स मे बी फाइव टू एट इयर्स देन एट प्लस इयर स्टूडेंट प्रेसर okay so uh, okay so we will take this thing okay so for fresher students and one year okay all the rounds will be on dsa only okay your primary there will be very very rare rarely uh, maybe in one interview maybe some question they can ask from the low level design but the thing is purely 100% of the rounds will be from dsa okay and if some company asks tech specific round then you must be having the knowledge of that specific role like if it is a java then you must be having the knowledge of a knowledge of java okay otherwise 100% of the round will be from dsa okay for fresher student and less than one year of experience okay so that is for uh, fresher student and one year of experience and for one to three years of experience uh, i will generally take the average only okay so three uh, uh three rounds will be on dsa okay and maybe uh, then fourth round which will be like mix four fifth fourth round will be mix uh, which will be like lld hld okay so this is like a uh, three round dsa and fourth round on the lld and one round is the managerial separate in every company okay 3 to 5 year is the it is in this is not guaranteed in many companies okay some companies ask okay for 3 years of experience but not all the companies okay but for 3 to 5 year experience three round of the dsa okay 2 to 3 ठीक है 2 to 3 okay and 1 to 2 rounds okay 1 to 2 rounds of the dsa will be asked 1 to 2 to 1 to 3 rounds of the dsa and basically one one round is only the system design okay okay so this is the system design but for 5 to 8 year of experience directly the rounds will be half okay uh, you can say here also like system design round yes yes so ravi uh, interviews are same level in any countries okay this is uh, now the companies are mnc so interview process are same for every every in every countries okay so two rounds maybe 50% of the round we can say dsa okay and 50% round of the system design okay and similarly like here we can say 40% round of the dsa maybe two round again here also okay and 50 to 60% round of the system design
system design okay and for 12 year of experience generally there will be one round of dsa one round dsa okay and and other rounds will be two rounds maybe will be like uh, system design and then other rounds will be on leadership skills and all okay because this positions will be mostly uh, like lead positions or something okay but depend on company to company also okay so the my meaning is to say as as you have a less year of experience your dsa rounds will be more okay as you grow and you have a more experience the rounds of the dsa will be decreased but it will be always there will be one round minimum one round okay maximum uh, two three it can go anything okay so there will be definitely one round of the dsa no matter how much year of experience you have okay so this is how interview will work basically okay so anybody having the doubt in this so that's what i told like to twist like uh, os networking okay that is tech specific round and the company will ask okay those are the very few companies okay they, they can ask some os or it will be not purely specific okay if if some interview have a something they can ask one question just a minor question it is not like it's basically one round is there for that okay in microsoft also you can expect something they can ask if they it is not like it is a general their standard process but if the interviewers have their mind then they can ask something like what is the deadlock okay what is the starvation okay but it is not guaranteed 90 percent of the time they will not ask but if you have so that's what we can say there's a luck thing okay so if they will ask so basically you should be having them some basic knowledge of the os or some networking okay but if you have a studied in college or if you even just reach the basics of this os or networking you will able to answer that question it will not be very detailed okay like some some question they can ask on the threading also okay i am a research student i have some publication in multiple research institutions So research student currently they are not hesitating it is just that like uh, maybe your resume need to more uh, mock up okay like you need to tweak your resume more okay and also basically uh, so basically you need to make maybe create your better resume okay as well as you need to show your linkedin uh, like lead code experience like you have a good problem solving skills okay how do i will know like and most of the times if you so guys if you are applying directly in career website 90 percent is the chances you will not get the calls okay so i would recommend if you are applying still okay first of all improve the dsa then if you are applying also go through the referral policy only okay like uh, search for the some employees of that company in the linkedin okay and get the referrals okay if you get the referrals then only your resume chances for selecting is higher because nowadays there is for every one position there are hundreds of thousands of the people are there okay and they are applying in the career side so if you apply in the career side nobody will going to come back with on that okay even currently if i am applying i will also not get the calls okay for any company if i tried in microsoft now i will also not get the call it is not like you are not getting the call in career website if you apply you will not get the call it is that simple only few very few times you will get the calls okay uh, Bikram, I am a mobile developer. How much of system design questions would be asked for me? Because I thought it, so it is a mobile, there is not no, no matters. Okay. Even if you are a mobile app developer, backend app developer, web, web developer, or backend, system design rounds will be asked. Okay. And you need to basically, uh, because see, when I was working in Microsoft, that type I'm, I'm a more on web developer side kind of thing. Okay. But now currently I am working as a Android developer. So uh, that does not matter. Okay. Because you at the end you are doing some back end stuff or maybe front end stuff. Okay. You can easily change from web to uh, mobile to web and web to mobile. There is no problem. 
in that or okay let me share this screen also for questions okay so that everybody can see that okay i think everybody can see the questions already are backend only roles decreasing and trends to our full stack no backend role it will be always higher now so always uh, guys in the market there will be always backend positions more okay hmm. number of the positions in the market backend will be always higher okay and then front end then full stack will be uh, but the thing is full stack is basically some company do not mention okay but maybe whenever you will join you will get the full stack work okay how to uh, Ruthvej is asking how to reach out to people for replies on LinkedIn. Any tips? Okay. Yes. So that will be given to the later in the course. Okay. But I would suggest do not uh, think on that. Okay. Do not think about resume creating now. Okay. As soon as your tree is over, you can start creating your resume, Nokri profile, and all. Okay. So then basically, uh, we will suggest you how to write the good uh, some message. If you are sent, it is not like directly you are sending someone. Can you refer me in this position? Hi, can you refer me in this position on the LinkedIn? Nobody will refer you. Okay. You need to present yourself so that they know more about you. Okay. Why you are good in that. Okay. Why, why you are thinking it is just think on, on their perspective. Suppose if you are, somebody is asking you to refer, how, how you will refer them. You should know about them, right? Or maybe what you will check, you will check like they are coding programming or not. So you should be uh, same thing you should do with, with them also. So uh, people with career. Yes, there is no problem. People with career gap, do they have a chance in with farm company? Yeah, it is totally possible. Okay. First of all, guys, uh, I think uh, many of the people are very obsessed with the farm. Okay. First of all, I will tell you. Okay. Currently, except Amazon, okay, Fang is the least company paying company in India, okay, except Amazon, okay. I am talking about Google also, okay. There are 10 companies I can name more, okay. They are paying more than Fang, okay. They are having better uh, work, they are having everything, benefits also great, okay. So, do not just think on the Fang, okay. Fang, Mang, anything. Okay. There are lots of good companies. Even if I name Airbnb, Uber, okay, PayPal, Salesforce, Adobe. Okay. And there are lots of startups. Slice. Okay. Slice, Razor Pay. Razor Pay, yes. Razor Pay is good, but the little will pay is less, but the Slice is paying very good. Okay. And there are bold, bold is there. There are lots of startups nowadays. In Indian startups are paying very high amount of the pay. Okay. And there will be work is also very good. Okay. So in top about, about the MNCs, Walmart, okay, Flipkart, Salesforce, PayPal, Microsoft, and Uber. These many companies are there which are paying more than that. It is like it is just that the name brand they have built. So that's why everybody is now Fang Fang. But the thing is, I know because I am in Google, I know how much other people are getting outside compared to me. That's what I'm saying this thing. Because same thing I am in same position. I I was also there two years back. I was also like obsessed with Fang Fang. Okay, but now the reality is different. It is not like I'm saying Google or uh, Amazon, Netflix is bad. They are not bad, but you should not focus only on these five companies. Uh, I'm telling you that. Do they take interviews again and again while changing the role internally? Yes. Uh, some companies do not take, some companies take so deep. If I talk about Microsoft, they take the, even if you are, a, even if you are not changing the roles, okay, even if you are changing the team, then there will be interviews in microsoft okay i will tell you about yes so work culture is uh, work culture in startups are also good okay uh, but the thing is work life you can mention okay work life maybe in a startup it will be like maybe there are more more work in a startup but the learning is more in that okay 
it is totally depend on that some people prefer uh, work life some people prefer good uh, learning okay so it is totally depend on person to person work culture is everywhere well, obviously work culture you will see everywhere good nowadays but the thing is work life versus work uh, this one uh, good quality of the work like learning curve basically so that you will find in more the most of the times in a startup more good like you will learn a lot because you are responsible for end to end things okay maybe you are designing some product from scratch so there you will learn the system design real okay but if you see suppose if you have a 3 year of experience and if you are joining microsoft okay and you expect that you will design some system there or you will design some lld hld then there will be unlikely it is possible okay because there are already folks senior software engineers in lead which they are doing otherwise what will be the role for them and yeah role so if i talk about my role internally when i applied from microsoft to us but the role is same but still i need to give seven interviews for that yeah yeah, yeah. so uh, regarding the position outside india can we able to directly apply like okay uh, okay let let me come on this point okay yeah. uh, can you unmute like let us yeah okay so uh, regarding the india uh, regarding outside india it is possible to apply outside india but generally internally is more easier compared to uh, externally okay and externally to be specific us is compared to impossible impossible means like you can say 1% is the chances or maybe 2% is the chances okay but the thing is um, uh this one uh, for other uh, like london companies like my um, like companies like google amazon facebook these are hiring very aggressively from india okay for london london singapore barsa germany these are the companies which you can uh, apply externally also outside india but usa is the close to impossible because of the visa issues okay they want to hire but the thing is the visa is not possible to get so that's why for us it is very hard okay and uh, yeah how's the work life in the google work life is the very like uh, to be honest microsoft and google both companies i have only worked i have found the work life in both the companies are very good okay maybe learning curve is less compared to other companies but the thing is yeah work life is very good uh so does your current role current company is being reviewed yes uh, in the hiring process obviously like uh, a current company uh, always so see when you are a student your current college matters little bit matter but it will matter if you have a very good skills okay then it will not matter but the thing is it will matter okay similarly like when you are applying suppose uh, see there are two people one is working in uh, suppose tcs and one is working in jp morgan okay and both are applying to microsoft whom they will give the chance to interview okay or whom they will select maybe for hiring in uh, like recruit obviously jp morgan will because the current companies matter okay but the thing is it is not like always matter but the thing is it will matter for sure little bit okay so if you do not have the uh, so that's why like if if the if you have a mind just directly you can switch from infosys to google in one go okay please uh, keep it low like it is not like it is impossible but the thing is you need to take a step step like it is not like you are on the first step and you are directly trying to um, reach to the 10th step okay i am not saying you will not able to go into the google but the thing is you need to take a step step by step okay maybe you need to reach at five step first okay like suppose getting into the some companies like target maybe tier 2 companies like target jp morgan sell uh, this what is sap lab india or many other companies oracle i oracle these companies you will get okay maybe you will work six month there or maybe one year then you can easily switch to google microsoft okay if you expect uh, like directly getting the calls for google uh, in from the uh, tcs okay maybe it is possible to get but it is like hard to get 
the things. Uh, IBM, there are so see Rajat, Rajat IBM, there are two, three uh, IBM is there is a I there are IBM is divided into the four parts. Okay. Uh, so if you are, if you want to see, just check out their things. There are IBM is poorly divided in the four parts. The first part, if you get, okay, the clear salary is Microsoft level salary. Okay. It's generally, people get second and third, third year, th second and third roles in the IBM. Okay. They have like one is a research center, one is the development center, and there is one more center. Okay. So if you are on the research uh, development center, okay, then uh, it is good. Development and research are both good. Okay. Then there are two other centers which are low. Okay. So that's why those are not good, but the thing is others are good. Yeah. One is IBM services, one is IBM dev center, one is IBM research, and one is IBM, I think, support center. These are the four centers are there. So, Ramesh, uh, build these companies focus on communication skills as well as uh, most of the companies do not focus on the communication skills. But the thing is, when you are uh, telling something, some approach of DSA question, then you should able to communicate that thing, how, what you are doing. Okay. It is not like you are, uh, you are uh, even not able to explain how, how, how you are doing. Okay. And also, like, you should be good in uh, communicating, like, uh, what type of the, arrays are there what type of the elements are there so these are also comes under the communication skills only like uh, uh, suppose do if you know if you do not ask the follow-up questions like uh, if suppose if they haven't given the tree you tree to tree question to you if you know do, do not ask like is it a binary tree or bst then your communication is bad in that case it is not like everything is communication means fluent english okay this also comes under uh, communication only okay also in future getting a job in india yes i have moved from in so i will tell you guys about myself okay i have graduated in 2017 okay then i worked one and a half year in microsoft india and then after that uh, internally i switched to microsoft in uh, india to microsoft usa Okay, there I have worked two years. Okay, then in Corona, I decided to move back to again India. It is not like that my visa is over. It is just that I got bored, bored from there. Okay, so I decided to move back again to India. Yeah, so it is possible. And even my friend is moving, moved from London to India recently from Goldman Sachs to Google. So it is possible. So there is, uh, I, uh, it is just that I have also heard what is that good tier to companies, but the thing is, uh, you can, uh, like, uh, I'm not sure how to find with the specific to location. Okay. I do not have any website idea. Okay. But the thing, uh, there are more startups nowadays, like you can easily find these things. Okay. Uh, I have, I do not know a particular website for getting this thing. I have a eight year having a seven year of experience in IT. I'm eligible for which company just joined the call. Sorry, having an experience. So having a seven year of experience in IT, have a Java experience. So as you, you are eligible for many companies. It is not like I can name few. Okay. Uh, it is totally dependent on your uh, project. Okay. Totally depend on your current company. Okay. And also like uh, sometime it happens, maybe if you find the good referral, okay, maybe you are comp you are trying by yourself, then maybe you will not get. If you get the referrals, maybe you are eligible for that company also, okay. So most of the times you are eligible, it is, so that's what I told, like if you are uh, like uh, working in very, very low level of the company and you expect like directly Fang or top five companies, then maybe it is a bad not the bad choice but basically you are expecting too much okay one thing is like take a step by step okay it is not like uh, directly uh, you are supposed you haven't worked in the 12th okay and uh, you're expecting you will get iit rank one it is not possible right like if you have worked in uh, good in math problems and all 
then you could easily get the good college. But if you didn't got the good college, you need to work hard somewhere in the one year or two years to make that switch again and again. Okay. Maybe you need to work between in some uh, tier two companies or medium level of the companies. Okay. After that, you work for six months, eight months there. Okay. Meanwhile, maybe it is possible. Most of the time it is possible. Like your system design is just started. Okay. You got some call, you interviewed there. Okay. Maybe you got placed. Okay. So meanwhile, your system design is continuing your three months for three months is over. Once then maybe six after six months again, you, you can apply. Okay. So your current company is also good that time and you are eligible for new, new, better companies compared to them. And to be honest, it is totally depend on the number of positions it is open. Suppose if there are a hundred vacancies are open, okay, then they will, the companies will reduce their criteria of selecting the resume. Okay. If they have a one opening, okay. And thousand people are applying, then they need to restrict the criteria based on the some current company or something. Okay. Let us talk to you on that. Anybody want to speak? So the more, the whole point of this session is DSA. DSA is very, very important. Please focus on the DSA. Okay. These four months of the DSA is very, very going to important in your career switch. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Any other questions, guys? Yeah, Manu, I have one question. Can you speak? Yeah. Actually, while approaching the DSA problems on youth code, like previously, I was not solving on youth code, and just now I have started. So I am able to do the uh, brute force approach, but it takes me a lot of time uh, to think in a much better way or the optimized solution. Or I can say like. 80% of time I am not able to think of the optimized solution. So will it come gradually or is it like it that? Be, it will be always gradually. So see, I have just give you the, some sim, simple example. Okay. When you are in 12th, okay, you started suppose some some problems of the math problem. It is not like on the first day you are very, very good in that topic. Okay. When you solve day by day again and again the same thing, okay, you will be better in that topic, right? It is the same thing for DSA. Okay. It is not like even just now DSA is not started. That's what I told you. Okay. So even, even you will expect the same thing in two weeks after two weeks also. But the thing is it will graduate. It will not like directly will improve in uh, one or two weeks. Okay. You need to consistently work. Okay. Then you are able to identify by yourself automatically these things. Okay. How to optimize. Okay. And so it will come gradually, gradually these things. Okay. Do not worry about that. It is the problem with everybody. Okay. Not for you. Okay. This will be even there are 30, 33 people here. Okay. 30, uh, I will tell you 25, 30 people are failing the, uh, facing the same issue. Okay. It will happen for every time. So what approach should we follow? Should we look for the solutions or hints or means, uh, yeah, what so amount some... of time should we give for a particular problem? One hour, two hours, or if, okay. if there are max upper bound that we shall give or then look for a solution if we not okay let me this if you are able to see my screen okay so basically suppose if you are some solving some lead code question okay some lead code question if you are solving okay since all or all of us uh, all of you are by working okay you will be having maybe two three hours a day okay max to max i am telling you maybe for some of them are maybe four hours but for some of them maybe if it is one hour only okay so the thing is if you are giving 30 minutes okay thinking on that approach if you get the approach then it is well and good and do not think like directly you optimize solution okay never think like you want to just solve the using optimize if you even if you are solving brute force write the code okay writing the code is very very important for brute force also once you have like in good command of the dsa in one or two months then you can skip the brute force approach writing but currently you need to write the brute force approach for sure in the lead code also okay so if you get the brute force approach, write that. If you are not getting any approach, okay, 30 minutes you have spent it. 
ओके प्लीज मूव टू अदर क्वेश्चन अदर क्वेश्चन मूव अदर क्वेश्चन मूव टू अदर क्वेश्चन ओके ओके देन मे बी यू हैव सॉल्व दैट क्वेश्चन कम बैक नेक्स्ट डे नेक्स्ट डे ऑन द सेम क्वेश्चन विच यू हैव नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व ओके गिव अगेन मे बी टेन फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओके ओके देन इफ यू नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व टेक सम हिंट ओके टेक हिंट्स either there will be hints in the lead code question below okay or there is a discuss section in the lead code okay you will find there is a discuss section in the lead code okay i will show you so let's take some example if you are able to see my lead code screen are you able to see yes yeah so this is suppose lead code okay then there will be this discuss section here okay so suppose if you have clicked here okay now in the title itself the people some of the people will say see here they have solved using hash map or two pointers okay this is the only hint you need okay that this question can be solved using hash map okay because you are not able to find the correct algorithm or correct data structure to use in that question to optimize this one okay so if you find this hash map if you find this two pointer okay now you know what is two pointer or you know what is hash map okay now try to think how to apply hash map on particular that question okay or how to apply two pointer particular in that question okay then only your concept will build more faster okay directly clicking here and seeing the solution will not make you the great coding okay it will always you will see oh this is easy i can solve it okay so if you solve by this way then you know just you take in the hint that what is that uh, it could solve using two pointer okay if you take the two pointer approach try to think how to apply the two pointer in that particular algorithm okay then maybe if you 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 got the 50% of the code correct okay maybe again you need some help or maybe then you can see the solution also but the thing is you need to take go step by step only okay directly the solution do not jump on the directly solution seeing the videos for the solution okay asking the directly the doubt okay we have a doubt sessions okay if we, the if there are 10 questions and if you are struggling in 10 questions okay and without if taking uh, much effort you directly ask the 10 questions we will solve the 10 questions in the doubt session but you will not improve with that approach that is for sure okay try to see at least 70 60 70 60 70 80% of the questions by yourself okay using some minor hints okay maybe initially one or two weeks you will find more difficult to solve 60 70 80% percent of the questions but later later it will improve okay so try to solve as much as you can using minimal hints okay do not directly jump on the solutions okay then only it will improve your dsa i hope uh, everybody got it rajat did i answer yeah yeah okay so this is how basically you should approach one question okay and yeah uh, where we are hmm. any any other questions guys so from this week like uh, after uh, after like yesterday there is a one assignment uploaded i guess if it is not uploaded it will upload today okay so uh, you will be getting on monday or tuesday there will be a one doubt session uh, one basically google form link you need to fill that google link what is the question link okay you can paste your question link there and this question will be discussed in the doubt says which is going to happen either wednesday thursday or friday depending on the number of questions generally in one doubt session we are solving four questions okay but uh, if there are 10 questions then it will be divided in two days okay or three days okay so that how that is how it will work okay and the doubt session recording will be also uploaded so those who are not able to attend they can watch the recording also okay uh, any other thing guys 
uh, I think let's talk one by one with everybody. Okay. Uh, so Ramesh, like uh, mentor sessions are for every 15 days. Okay. Uh, you can talk to them every 15 days. Uh, Parni, uh, every 15 days you can talk Ramesh. Okay. And yeah. And Parni, uh, if you have gotten the study assignment, okay, then there will be no assignment today. Okay. If you haven't got, you will get today. Okay. Okay. Do we have to call the mentor or first send them a WhatsApp? No, no, no. Don't that don't don't see, don't directly call anybody. Okay. You need to uh, message only. Okay. If they are not replying, okay, but not two times. Um, ask the operation girl that they are not replying, okay. And so after they reply, then they are saying like I am free at seven thirty. Then give them the Google uh, Google Calendar invite or something, okay. So that they both of you can join, okay. Or maybe phone call also works depending on your doubts, okay. And how much duration can we book the meeting for maximum? To so see, generally, uh, generally 30 to 30 to 35 minutes. Okay. And if there are more interviews, it will go 40 to 45 minutes to 50 minutes also. Okay. Which one is good books or video tutorials? For what? Uh, for what? Uh, first of all, there is nothing required. If you are uh, attending the classes, okay. If you are asking for DSA, okay. You need not to see video tutorials. You need not to see good books also, okay. Uh, I am telling you again and again, this is enough content, okay. You will not miss any of this. I have already shared the curriculum, right? So you haven't, uh, there is no topic which is missed, okay. I think let's talk one by one. Uh, I think Adi Reddy, uh, do you have any doubt? You need to unmute your mic. Alekha. Uh, everybody, I am coming, but one by one with everyone. Okay. So, Adi Reddy, you have any doubt? Even if you do not have the doubt, you need to unmute your mic and tell that nothing. Uh, hi, sir. This is Aditya. I do not have any doubts. Sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Bhagwati. Yeah. Hi, Manu. If uh, if we religiously follow all the assignments provided with a like with clear understanding of the problems in three to four months, we'll get a decent command over DSA, right? That is totally, that totally is. true. Okay. You will get a good command if you solve the DSA questions fully. Okay. That is for sure. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bhargav. Um, yeah, Manu, nothing. But uh, generally, if we have any doubts while solving, can we ask that to mentor? So uh, I have told you re related to that DSA question. Generally, I am not uh, uh, suggesting to ask for the mentor. Okay, because okay. mentors are uh, for your. Uh, so see, if you do not have any career things, you can ask with the mentor. But since mentor sessions are every fifteen days, that's why I am not uh, suggesting. Because in fifteen days, you will be having maybe some of the career doubt. Okay, maybe you get some other queries. Okay, that you can ask. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Because otherwise we have a good good teaching assistant support. Okay. So okay, okay, every yeah. Wednesday and all the, the your doubts will be resolved. Okay. So that and it will be weekly. Okay. Why to wait for 15 days to ask from the mentor these things? Okay. Yeah, yeah got it. Yeah. Thank you. Uh Santos. Yeah, I have a 10 plus years of experience. So how will be the DSM system design? So for ten plus RFE experience, one or two rounds max to max, uh, one minimum, two maximum DSA rounds you will expect. Okay. Okay. And the rest of the rounds will be system design and maybe leadership rounds. Okay, you will expect. Uh, yeah, I am done for both uh, 
data uh, so after that, system design yeah. yeah after dsa your system design will be started uh means i'm in a different branch uh, different uh, batch actually i done this one uh to recall them uh i want uh, on the dsa is complete then only i can start the system but because actually the, in parallel also you can start but the thing is uh it will make you burden also and also like maybe if the timing is uh like collapsing then it is not possible okay okay yeah uh okay thank you santosh darshan no man uh, till now i have not doubt okay uh gerald hello okay i think your voice is not coming yes thank you haja yeah hi mano hi so i uh, as a data engineer right so i am working as data engineer so mm -hmm. how long at this dsa will be a part of the interview in uh, any uh, any company. any it will be always i am telling you right so product based company no matter which role you are applying dsa rounds will be there okay no matter how much year of experience you have how much what is your role here one or two rounds of the dsa will definitely there yeah how depth the uh, dsa would be there there is, there is no there is no kind of, like there is no nothing like a role specific depth okay it will be asked the dsa is going to ask and it will be asked okay it is totally depend on interviews interviewer also okay and companies also mm -hmm. suppose if you are applying uber then the interview uh, level you will expect more higher harder okay if you are applying okay. for some low level company then interviews may be little bit low okay okay yeah jinana okay. jana panna hi bro hello could you able to hear me bro yeah yeah kanna yeah uh, the thing is from my end, um, sometimes i can able to solve problem easily mm -hmm. but uh, sometimes i'm losing my confidence like i cannot able to even approach the like the way like that's why that's why i have suggested the approach how to approach one, one problem okay if you directly see the solution you will always lose the confidence okay if you yeah. take some small hints you will always feel the confidence that you can solve using some small hints also because in interviews also it is not like if they have some given you some questions you can expect to solve okay without anything okay you can they in interviews also they will give you some small hints so you should incorporate that small hint into your solution okay how you are taking that hints and how you are applying that hints okay in interviews also interviewer sometimes give the hints okay so that will build your con confidence okay if you directly see the solution it will always make basically make your confidence less okay yeah and i have another question like uh, from you or another uh, person like uh, who is uh, teaching mm -hmm. us uh, uh, how you guys have started while you are uh, um, as a beginner like Uh, while starting dsa from the scratch so what's your strategy uh, i think i have already asked the question like the thing is like um, how long you spend um, and what are the resources you uh, went through while you are learning dsa like so if uh, any useful information that will be great for us uh, so basically uh, i i have also Uh, did the same thing okay like i have started from very basics of the questions of uh, like pattern search pattern and all okay then i have because see i have done in majorly in my college so i have done some competitive programming also because we have a lots of free time okay and but the thing is i have also followed one coaching that time okay and there is one book which is called uh, Nar narsimha karmanchi book okay that i have also followed but the thing is uh you do not need to record anything okay Sim 
just the thing is attend the classes daily solve the questions okay you will be good for sure okay, okay. yeah yeah so let me know after that manis manis yeah hi manu uh, so mm, so first i would like to introduce myself so i have almost around uh, more than 8 years of experience and currently working in city bank as a data engineer so as a i mean a uh, data engineer like i mean i am implementing something in my company which i am really liking so as here we are i mean training ourselves uh, on the dsa and problem solving and obviously we are targeting to get a job in a uh, in a better organization so uh, i'm asking that this uh, mentorship program right uh, which is basically focused on uh, the career development and career doubts right mm -hmm. so will this uh, be only available till the end of the course or is it like i mean uh, i can reach out to my mentor i mean say suppose uh, march of next year 2023 or oh. or reach out to you guys so you can reach out to you can reach out to us that is not a problem okay but the thing is mentor sessions are till the course duration okay, okay. because uh, because th those are also they are also doing the part time only okay so it is like uh, one person is assigned to them till the course is booked okay? uh, so uh, until the course course is over so there is like uh, uh, if you need some help okay we can uh, basically uh, Kind of, kind of, like connect you with someone, but the thing is, it is generally yeah, this one. Now, uh, on the problem solving skills. So, on a ideally, uh, is it like, say, suppose ten or eight or ten problems you guys are giving us on a weekly basis, right? So, uh, is it like solving those problems is enough for a week, or is it like we need to tar we need to be targeting on a daily basis some number of problems? No, 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 nothing, nothing. Okay, first of all, I am telling you. Currently, you are able to solve two problems, uh, maybe ten problems within one week. Okay, you you will start getting fifteen problems. Okay, even if you will get the ten problems in later later of the course, you will not able to solve those ten problems because see the difficulty will be increased. Currently, it is just a uh, Easy. Basic, just a very basic questions we are solving. Okay. Okay. So I mean, so basically, you are saying that we will not be able to solve the major problems, which will be really hard, and it will take uh, some amount of time to get to that level. Yeah. So, um, so that is available, right? I mean, I'll say suppose my course ends, and right now I'm working in a in my organization, in my current organization, and say suppose later. A year, I want to switch my job, so I can get referral from you. I can help from you guys. Yeah, yeah. So referral is there is there will be always welcome. Okay, we are always welcome if you have a good skills. Okay, it is not a problem. Okay, that is for sure. And recordings, content access is lifetime. Okay, doubts recording. Okay, basically and co content assignments access. Okay, and basically recordings of the classes are lifetime. Thanks, sir. Okay. After money is Nimiska. Yeah, hi. So hi. one doubt I had was like you mentioned that even though every other company is looking for DSA on any other technological uh, language, coding language, right? Mm -hmm. So once we get into the organization, would we be put into our comfortable language that we were expertise in? Though we I code in any other language. I didn't get it at this point. No, no. Uh, I meant to ask like uh, during the interview, they don't care about the language that will be so coding. So see, it, right? it, it it is totally depend on company too. Also, okay. If they have a suppose Java position, okay, mm -hmm. then they will ask maybe you need to write the code in Java, okay? Because okay, they have okay. a Java specific opening only, okay? For some mm -hmm. specific companies, I am telling you, like me. I code in C sharp also in Java also, but for interview I always use C plus plus. Okay, so it okay. is the same thing. Okay? okay, but the thing is, till now I uh there is a, some companies like uh, to, to be honest, there is a company DSO or CCM. 
GS, they more higher specific to technologies. Okay, so they will expect financials companies are more higher technology specific rounds. Okay, okay. so in financial companies you will expect these kind of things. Okay, okay, what? Yeah, Parneet. Uh, I have more questions as of now. Okay. Pavan. Uh, hi, Manu. Uh, as of now, I'm understanding everything what Divang is uh, explaining or teaching. Uh, my concern is that uh, I have an average profile. Okay. I am uh, working currently at a service based company. Uh, and how, like, my concern is how do my resume get picked? from a product-based company. So, so see, uh, it is not like from service-based company to product-based company switching is harder, okay? But the thing is, uh, I have told you, right, in this class itself, like if you aim directly from service-based company or maybe low-level company to directly Google only or Microsoft only, that would be a good, uh, not a good decision to have, first of all, okay? Good, not my, good mindset, too, first of all, okay? You should be ready to basically work something which is better than current company and also a product-based company. Okay, so you should be ready for that. Okay, then basically you will work there and you will gain some experience. Okay, you can switch that. Okay, from new from that company to in these top companies also. Okay, but directly just waiting for that only those two companies would not be a good decision to have first of all. Okay, so basically for the tier two product based companies also, uh, we need uh, some type of good profile, right? Just yeah, no, no. So I, see, I see. recently tried with the profile uh, to a referral, but uh, my resume did not uh, get picked. For so it is not like it, so. See, for one, there are thousands of the companies. Okay, and it is not like one or two companies you tried and basically uh, even my resume is got uh, uh, like when I, when I was working in Microsoft, my resume for Salesforce I will tell you Salesforce. Okay, DSoft. Okay, RCCM. There are many companies, it, the resume got rejected, okay? So it is not like always only service-based companies are uh, called, okay, in that. It is totally dependent on uh, how their work alignment is there and how what you have done in your current company, okay? So my resume, most of, many times it is rejected, okay? Even working in Microsoft, okay? So there is no problem in that, okay? But it will reject even after referral also, there is no problem. Okay. I am telling you, referral will increase the chances, not basically guaranteed make the chances. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks, sir. Yeah. Prena. Pavan, Pavan, there is one more Pavan. Both are same. Or, uh, no, man, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had a job. At, I'm Java background. So mm -hmm. I had five years experience in that. So actually, uh, due to my project rush, uh, I'm not able to take the assessments. So is my, is there any uh, difficulties it will be faced for me? Like uh, later also I can able to take, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can take. So guys, first of all, I will tell you this course is valid for one year. Okay. Suppose if you are not able to attend somehow March classes, okay. You can change your best to April also, June, May also, June also. Till, till the next year, uh, February, you can change. Okay. Yeah. So this course is valid for one year. Live, basically, li live classes. Okay. Content access is lifetime. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yeah. Mm, after the train now. Uh, yeah. Hi, Manu. Can hi. you hear me? Yes. Okay. So uh, my question is like I'm having an experience of between six to seven years. So uh, I'm having a Java experience. I've also mentioned in the comment. So like, uh, uh, how many rounds I would be having? Like uh, three DSC rounds you told, two, right? Two, three, three, two, two, three, two, two minimum, three maximum. Okay, then one or two will be system design. Okay, so like four, five rounds will be there. Yes, yes, four rounds is our average nowadays. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. So focus on DSA only. Okay. First of all, do not think about the system design. Let's first complete uh -huh. the DSA. Okay. 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 And this resume and all this uh, classes would be taken, right? Yes. I mean, yes. Uh, so, so see, for mentors are for resumes and these things only, right? So you will 
after two months you can start your resume creating and get it reviewed by men uh, men uh, like mentor okay give some okay. mock interviews uh, pre, uh, like okay do the kind of things you can do okay okay thank you uh, let's go quickly uh, raghav uh, you have hello hi manu hi my question is uh, like let's say i solve some lead code problems today and when i reuse it like after one month uh, what i have uh, uh, observed is like sometimes i am not able to uh, come up with the with the solution which is as optimized as in my first attempt like this has uh, uh, this okay. is happening a lot with me so this is happening because you are seeing the solution okay if you haven't if you tried that question by yourself fully okay you will again solve that question by yourself okay if you take some hint okay if you basically see some solution okay then you will face the same issue if you do not if your concepts are not clear so see if your concepts are not clear and you will just see the solution directly okay after 15 days again you will uh, stuck in that question okay so make your concept better okay. okay that is the key point okay take some minimal hints try to solve by yourself okay then only it will improve okay okay and, and when yeah. solving or sol yeah. yeah sorry go on no no go 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 okay and when like when we submit a solution so uh, like what is a good score on lead code which i mean in terms of you know percentage uh, like it says it's better than 50% of solutions or 90% of solutions okay. yeah uh, one more thing i got, guys i forgot to tell you lead code do not trust on the lead code uh, millisecond do not trust on the lead code percentage okay never trust on that because those are server related things okay if it is something if your query is executed in some server of server it will tell you if you are not believing uh, submit your same code 10 times okay you will feel the difference okay in millisecond also Okay. Yeah, I have noticed that. Like sometimes it's fifty percent same code is ninety percent again. Yeah. So see, because see, it is a di distributed environment. Okay, distributed environment. So if there mm -hmm. are uh, five servers are running, okay, maybe some server have a le less workload. Okay. If your code is executed in that server, it will take less time to execute that thing. Okay. So it is as simple. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Rajat. yeah so i want to ask about discord so how can we use it and like so can see, we so i will i will tell you first of all discord is like uh, nowadays people are not using much okay like in academy because uh, anything if they have a because uh, i have tried like two three months but people are not actively participating in that so if you see even if you join you will feel the less participation activity there okay it is like for uh, you guys only discord like Uh, one person is posting some question, and the other persons are replying. But see, nobody is actively participating. Okay, uh, so that's why I, I uh, it is like little bit less used. Okay, so if you have some doubt directly, you can ask in the doubt sessions. Okay. So can we connect to the guys of the previous batches? Might be uh, like uh, might be last year batches or something like that. And For what? Time. For what? just for general means their journey how they learned or uh you can connect but uh, if some because see uh, they are uh, so that's why maybe some of the folks are even not joined okay so you can connect with them there is no problem uh, i can uh, i can basically uh, in the discord so if you got the access there are already couple of students if you see okay in the which session in the data i will tell you okay in that Okay, you can see in some of the folks have asked the questions in the problems. Okay, okay. in the problems channel or some. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, after that, Ravi, not Ravi, Raj, Raj Bharti, Ramesh. Yeah. Hi, Manu. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. 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 Yeah, actually, I am from the .NET background, so my primary language is like a C sharp. So uh, I 
learn C++ a uh, little bit for these data sets because like most of the books or like app tutorials I have seen either in a C++ or Java or Python. So that is why I learned uh, C++. And also like uh, it's a similar to C Sharp only. Yeah. So is it really required to learn Java or Python uh, as of now? No need, right? No. For need. Uh, attempting interviews. Or... No, 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 no. So these two enough, right? Yes, yes, for sure. Yeah, thank you. And after that, I have one question here. So this tutorial course only focus on interviews, or uh, if I want, if I don't want to switch my company, so I want to grow as in uh, system designing way and yes, LLD right. HSDs. Okay. So how it will be? No, no, no. It is not like it is just interview specific. Okay. Uh, so DSA is not like inter. That's what I told you, right? Uh, DSA it will improve your thinking capability so that you can write the better to fall. Okay. And after that system design, you will learn, okay, you will get some opportunity in your company. Then you will apply that those things in your current company. Okay. You will learn design patterns. Then you will able to write the better code in your current company. Okay. That is how. Sure. Yeah. After that. Yeah, hi Manu. Um, so my question would be, uh, can you highlight something on how could we uh, best utilize the mentorship program? I mean, what so, can so we expect? A few sessions are like, first of all, uh, see, after one week or two weeks, when you start getting the good assignment, maybe you will lose the confidence. Okay, maybe you will miss the consistency. So mentor will guide you how to be consistent. Okay, in second session, most probably. Okay. And in first session, he will tell you about his journey. Okay, you can ask if he's not telling. Okay, and you can tell about your journey also. Okay, and you anything you have on top of that. Okay, because that is personal one on one. So you can ask any one on one questions. Okay, and after that, after that, uh, after two sessions, uh, in third session, maybe you can ask like uh, you can take some more interviews also. Okay, or maybe you can basically anything on top. If suppose in sub topic, some topic you are struggling. Okay, then you can ask a little bit detail about that topic. Okay, and um, resume reviews. Okay, that you can do. Okay, so like this. So, so fourth session will be after two months or two around two months. Okay, so till that your tree will be overing. Okay, so you can have some. Then you can start creating your resume at that time. All right, got it. Yeah. After that, Saraban. Sravanan, your voice is not coming. So with Sudeep. Uh, hi, no. can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, so I have a doubt like how many mock interviews you guys uh, give? So, uh, generally, I am advising three mock interviews. And what if, like, uh, we lack somewhere, you know, like uh, even after three mock interviews, we, uh, and we go back and then, you know, learn. Uh, and then later, we uh, will uh, will I get extra mock interviews after that? Yeah, yeah, that is not a thing. Uh, okay, so that's that's what my. Generally, after one, one mock interview after three, second interview after three, hey, after dynamic mm -hmm. programming, third interview after course. Uh, hi, Manu. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I was, I was asking, like, uh, uh, in an interview, like, how much time uh, will they provide to, like, solve a data structure question? Is it, like, like the whole round will be... Uh, so, see, as, was, as fast as you will solve, you will have a more advantage. Okay. Because see, every company have expect some follow-up questions on that question. Okay. So if you mm -hmm. solve faster, they will ask some follow-up questions. If you solve those follow-up questions, your your interview will be very stronger. Okay. And uh, one more question I have, like, suppose uh, like I've uh, like come up with the approach and like I've explained the algorithm, but while writing the code, like there are some syntactical errors. So like it's not actually production ready code. So will that like, how will that be? So some yeah. negative, some it is not a purely negative things, okay, but little bit less negative, you can say, little bit negative, okay, okay. if they notice that, okay. 
Yeah, but the thing is, your code quality should be like syntax wise is fine. Okay, but the thing is, you are writing good variable naming. You are writing modular code. Those should be perfect. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Suman, Supriya. Uh, hi, Manu. Am I audible? Yes. Yes. Uh, I have eleven plus years of experience. Uh, I've always worked in service based industry and. Uh, Uh, always worked as a backend data engineer and batch driven applications for data warehouse projects so these days i see most of the uh, jds have cloud requirement or uh, big data technologies or some uh, no sql databases like other forms of databases other than rdbms mm -hmm. so you mentioned right like um, from service based it's always good to take a first jump to um, decent uh, product based uh, companies so mm -hmm. this is the requirement attached to most most of the jds so since i don't have work experience in any of these technologies how do you suggest like um, even so can, yeah sorry so some company do not ask first of all even they mention it is not like they will ask the cloud only okay they mm -hmm. say the brow work will be on that so you will learn after joining there okay but okay. even if you can get some basic idea about is cloud or but is something basic okay so that you can tell like i haven't i haven't got the chance to work but i can learn the, that thing quickly okay so they have mentioned because their work will be on the cloud maybe some of them but it is not like always guaranteed that they will ask on the cloud okay okay yeah okay yeah thank you uh swati vikram manoj Yeah, this is Swati. Yes, Swati. Yeah, I have around four years of experience. Uh, mm -hmm. so currently I'm working as a front-end developer. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, you can say like when I currently I switched company. Uh, so here I'm not feeling very comfortable or confidence about my work. Like this work mm -hmm. is kind of very different from what I used to do in different companies. So. Um, what do you mean by different? like uh, development wise like uh, some some companies i used to work on a small development like there's a very less development and more of the bugs and uh, you know enhancement but here is kind of project start from the scratch and kind of i'm i'm kind of feeling stuck or sometime like oh, getting thoughts like i'm not good enough or something like that so, so see, that will be that will be always there okay in every company you will you will go there will be different kind of teams different kind of bugs okay you will not face the same thing okay maybe you have a in, maybe you have enjoyed in your previous company but maybe you will get more work here okay so that is not the good thing you, so you will you have to feel good about that that you are getting more development work here okay compared to that okay there you are debugging the things on here you are mm -hmm. getting the good work it is not like uh, always everybody feel that i am not good even i i is also thinking that i am not good in google because most of the i see that uh, some of the folks are very good compared to me but it is not mm -hmm. like the Thing, you need to improve. You need to basically work more harder. Okay, you got the good opportunity that you are getting good work. Okay. So, like for this time, is it good to switch to the full stack, like from front end to full stack? So, see, if you are getting, if you are getting basically what you can say, that thing. Sorry. Uh, basically i am not so like if you if you have a good work currently and if you are recently switch uh, and there is uh, there is no point to switch i mean maybe you can just complete the course okay do the system design okay after 6 month you will be having more more experience then you can think on the switching yeah okay not immediately yeah sure thank you. okay uh vikram yeah hi am i audible yes 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 so as well i'd like to say uh, this session was really uh, insightful so i would like to make it a point here so i have a couple of queries here so yeah. my first query is that um see right now for this uh, dsa queries these problems that uh, you guys are giving i'm solving it in two different programming languages kotlin and golang Mm -hmm. So, is it advisable to continue, you know, solving in two different languages, or is it just is it no, no, advisable no. to to just concentrate on one programming language and like kind of stick to that and do that? One programming language is sufficient. There is no matter. You will solve even three language, it will not improve anything. Right. Okay. Okay. 
um okay my second place that uh, so i like from what you mentioned um these mentors they would help us uh, you know uh, make our linkedin profiles attractive so, mm-hmm. yeah so uh, okay so i have seen some people mentioning their lead code score on their uh, resume is it really a thing that makes their resume stand out or is it really no uh, no, no. Uh, so see that is uh, needed so it is like if you do, if you do not have if you do not have something to add you can add that thing there is no problem and there is no problem in adding that thing okay if you, if you have solved some 200 questions on the lead code you can mention that there is nothing required and there is no uh, harm in that right right no okay. okay. uh, thank you very much okay. thank you uh, last one manoj Uh, hi manoj uh, currently i don't have any doubts uh, many of my doubts have been cleared yeah uh, thank you thank you guys any other thing uh, i yeah uh, hi manoj darshan here yeah hi uh, manoj i have one query uh, regarding the resume uh, uh, i have created the resume and i have applied the so many uh, where but um, sometimes i got the call sometimes I, i haven't got the call so means what kind of the key skills that we have to add uh, in the resume uh, i have a 9 year of experience mm-hmm. and uh, my relevant experience in android is 8 years so i, I applied the many time in the google uber also but uh, but how you have uh, applied that is the main thing um in uh, uber i have applied to the referral but uh, for the uber my resume is not selected so they reject me in even in jp morgan i have also applied to the referral so see so you cannot say like it will be always selected for the resume so uh, that's what i told you referral will increase your chances to select but it's not guaranteed to select okay it is totally depend on your work experience okay you cannot more change like you cannot change from drastically one change to another you can just write so there is a some way to write the things like suppose i will tell you one ge- example suppose if you have done some de- uh, some work okay some optimization work you have done okay now previously that task is taking maybe one hour okay and now it is taking basically uh, suppose that task is taking 24 hours now it is taking basically one uh, one day only or uh, like one hour only so if you write uh, from 24 to uh, basically if you write like 90% to reduce the time then it will make little bit less like but is the 90% okay but if you write like uh, from 20 like you have reduced your time from 24 hours to 1 hours by like decreasing by 90% of the optimization that will it will stand out that from 24 to it will make 1 hour okay 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 so those are the things these are the skills basically to write the things in such a way that it is reflecting your work okay what kind of things you have done okay and uh, either company see the means uh, keywords like the means you have knowledge of the ds algorithm means this kind of the keyword no no no, no, no not not easy. not not this keyword but skills they look like java c sharp these are the things not the this okay. Okay. okay thank you thank you man yeah okay uh who is so adire question regarding the revision strategy like uh, if we have solved uh, let's say we have solved four assignments so shall we go back and revise the questions of the assignments after some particular time or first of all uh, solve the existing one then only you can revise okay if you are not so see if you gave the time to a uh, previous one then you are missing the current one okay so first of all solve the current one if you get the time feel free to practice more questions from the previous okay are they ready yeah hi um, actually my doubt is um, how to build our profit build in the sense suppose uh, we are learning dsc and tutor right so if we perform well then you will give the referrals and all right maybe you will give referrals but how can we show our uh, talent to the outer world like to building the lead code co- lead code and github community are writing some articles in linkedin so that way we can go so, so see like github maybe open source project will help but the thing is solving the lead code questions will not basically you can say that you if you are sending some message to someone then you can say like i am a good in problem solving yeah but, suppose uh, in qtart you will give some referrals right suppose i want to show my skills to others 
who are not belongs to, to because if they believe then only they will give referral right mm-hmm. other they won't give so then how can i show my uh, skills and all to them by okay. building github profile for a file or writing some articles in linkedin or no 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 solving no. problems in lead code so that's why right. i told you lead code if you solve the lead code problems you will be having profile you will directly give that like i am a good in, so if you send some message like hi hi there how are you doing okay currently i am working in this company okay i have a good experience in java and all currently i am good in problem solving okay i have solved this much of the problems in the lead code also i am very much excited and very much basically i am open to work in your company okay uh, i have found this as the uh, job open in your company and i my my experience is also relevant to this okay can you provide me a referral okay so this kind of message you will send then person will look into that okay okay and one more is um so i have almost 5 uh, years of experience in uh, java development okay so recently only i moved but i am working in um, old technologies okay mm-hmm. so next time i want to switch okay so now i am advanced advancing my problem solving skills but the technology wise i am uh, lagging because of uh, whatever the project i am working now mm-hmm. so then how can i showcase whether i am working in latest technologies or i have the knowledge of latest technology so how can i showcase to them you can just write you cannot do anything in that okay you can just tell like i have a knowledge of this one also okay but if they ask like where you are about you cannot answer that so see everything is not see you everything is not able to show things okay suppose uh, if you how can you show like if you so either in you the are, sense, suppose uh, uh, now everything is microservices right hmm. so microservices in the sense um, showcase in the sense uh, they will ask mostly questions on microservices only then if i didn't perform well in that uh, sub means a topic then definitely even if i have the knowledge of dsa skill so they will definitely they won't consider right in that case so how can i improve my um, skills um, in that way so that's what i told you there is a one tech round okay in that they can ask that my the java related microservices around okay that you cannot do anything okay if you have a knowledge then only you can answer that thing okay it is not like so see dsa will clear your two rounds okay dsa is not like only the dsa will able to help you okay if the companies are asking one tech round you need to perform in that round that is simple yeah my concern is whether they will consider technology stack or not that's my concern they will consider so it is that's what like it is totally company to company okay if you are applying for suppose in jp morgan the opening position is c sharp if you haven't worked in the c sharp then they will not consider that's all so no, consider in the sense so even though i'm working in java in java we have different different like spring is there so uh, struts and jsp is there and then spring boot is there and then microservices are there so even you are working in java so if you are not um, suitable to that um, whatever the role it is mm-hmm. so then they won't consider as right Yeah, so even even i will i will tell you one example last to last week i got the twitter call okay they are clearly asked me that have you worked on the microservices okay i have told no then they have rejected me okay, okay then i um, mean we need to advance uh, our uh, technology skill whatever the no, technology so we see, are working, you right? cannot first of all first of all always always remember you cannot work 100% on all the things okay if you are good in that you need to put in that only okay there will be always some if, if you say like they are asking react question then how how you will answer it then so, you will learn the, then uh, you will learn the react also it is not i am i am talking about my technology stack not other other suppose i am working in java but it's a uh, struts project okay for example then uh, whenever i want to switch to other company mm-hmm. along with dsa then i need to learn the t- latest uh, technology stack in java that is like spring boot microservices so rest restful web services and all right that's what i'm uh, yeah, you should be having the basic knowledge okay in the interview you can mention that i haven't got the chance of the working in like in real time but i have uh, some basic knowledge of that okay yeah, that's why ask because you have some experience right in uh, product based companies like how they will consider whether Uh, they will see only the problem solving skills along with the whatever the technology stack whether it is a old or good or they will um choose uh, along with dsc and they will they want uh, the latest technology skills like now it is microservices it so, is it is totally so see even in the google the positions are the java java opening okay 
but they will not ask even the java related questions okay in no matter even if you are in the java okay no matter in the u and the, the c sharp okay but some company maybe they will not uh, they will consider you even for the old stack or old tech stack also in the java okay but it is totally depend on the company's role okay the, if you if they have suppose java spring boot opening okay and they need someone who has a good experience in the java spring boot only then only they will consider then you need to be good in that okay so if you having a time okay you can learn that thing you can learn that thing okay but the thing is suppose if there are more, more two two new things are coming in the java it is not like always you will so see i will just give you some example of the javascript okay there are javascript many frameworks are there okay like qjs many jsrs coming okay you cannot learn anything every new things which are coming in the javascript okay so the same thing is like for java also there are multiple things in the java okay if you have if you have a time you can learn then you can learn one or two more things but it is not like always everything you can learn in the java also okay it's completely depends on the position Company, which you are yes, applying yes yes okay so i think guys uh, we are done uh, anything uh, i hope this session is helpful